what's the crack? Uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a fun one. So it's the reason I started this page. I wanted to show off other collections and um, you know show other other Irish reptile keepers. So today we're going to see one of the most deadliest collections in the country. Some really really unique animals. So I'm going to bring you along to Tipperary. I drove up today to Tipperary to O'Dowd's uh, exotics. So I'm going to show you some some of his animals and to get some class footage. The following animals in this video are highly venomous and extremely dangerous. We recommend you do not try this at home. So first up in the collection we have Raptor. He's a, a melanistic water monitor, the Varanus Salvatore. <laughs> so here one of raptor's nails clipped my ear and I got a nice little cut. Here raptor. Got another one for you. Welcome bud. Joy. How old is Raptor? He said he's about uh, one year, year, now. year and a bit. Year and a bit. And he's already about four foot eight, says he? Yeah, he's about four. Stunning. Definitely needs more space. I can still see the chicken. Chicken leg going down his throat. Like. Let's get him moved it down. So up next we have Oreo, which is the Naja Siamensis or the Indo-Chinese spitting cobra. So Oreo is about a 14, 15 year old snake. You can see Chris using some protective goggles here, just as a precaution with it being a spitting cobra. Next up we have one of my favourite species of venomous snake, the Gaboon Viper, Bitis Gabonica, the largest fanged venomous snake in the world. They are also one of the fastest striking snakes in the world, hitting up to 8 feet per second. Videos and pictures do not do this guy justice, he was way bigger than my forearm, he was an absolute unit of a snake. This is a male, that's a male, the one at the back there is a female. She is. Probably got another female. I'm going to move them into a six foot out of the new shed. Close. Well, nearly three. Three years old? Yeah. That's the male, is it? Two, two and a half, three, yeah. Pretty sure these two are related though. So that's why we're gonna get another female. Yeah. So you know what that female is.
male and female albino western diamondback rattlesnake. Latin name is Crotalus atrox. This is the albino western diamondback. Is that the male or female? It's the one we thought was a male. But oh, is that your female? Chucky. Yeah. This is Chucky. That rattler then. That's in the hobby, so a, a, a lot anyway, isn't it? Like, yeah. with it, fucking every lift that you're looking at, you're overfeeding them. So this is a stunning male Sri Lankan pit viper. The Latin name is Craspidocephalus trigonocephalus. This is the blue insularis, or what's the, what's the Latin? The tr Trimosaurus. Trimosaurus insularis. Yeah. I think they got changed though. They're, oh, they're changed in some medicine. Yeah, insane. That's one of my favorite vipers. Though. There's variation in the blues, and I think it varies from island to island. Uh, so this is this is an F1 from Komodo Island. Yeah. So his parents are originally wild caught Komodos. Um, keep an eye on him. I find this one yeah. easy. Other variation, I'm not what. So the F1 song. Yeah, this, that's an F1. Not sure what this one is. Not sure about locality, yeah. island, if it's an F1 or not. I know it's a CV anyway. Yeah, that's last. So, for anyone who doesn't know, F1 is basically the parents would have been wild caught. So, it's be a first F1 generation. first generation in captivity, then F2, F3, or no, F4. And then it kind of goes into CV. Yeah, it is with captive bred. You see a lot of cop captive farmed as well. Yeah, these were. Yeah. This is the parents main. came from Komodo, and a German guy got them, bred them. Mm -hmm. That's an F1. That was actually the hold back, and then he decided not to keep it. Yeah. So you don't have to keep any off of it. There's so much shit in this. Colors and this is just... You see a nice color variation now. So this is the male, and is that a female? This is a female, but a young female. The only reason I'm keeping them together is because... I'm waiting to finish the other bit. Yeah. And they're unrelated, yeah? Unrelated. Yeah. I actually just said that. I actually. Yeah? Only do it for breeding purpose. That'll be the only reason, because they're quite jumpy and bitey and stupid. And they are known to eat each other. Only reason I'm okay with keeping them together right now is because they're the exact same size. Yes. Yeah. But you can see the male is older because even though it's a male, it still has a bigger head. Yeah. And they're about the same length. Well, yeah, the female's two years, two years younger, isn't it? Yeah. So this is like he's just maxed out, I'd say. Yeah. And she's still going. The collars on the tail as well. Like, like it's a green tinge off it's of it. Big, bright thing. Color there. They're both blue, but they're two different blues. Yeah. Turn right, turn at the back of the wheel. 
So this is the spectacle cobra. Yeah. Naja, Naja, this is Sri Lankan locality. Because there's not many Indian localities in New Orleans. You see all the Americans say an Indian cobra, they actually have Indian cobras. Yeah. We don't. We normally have Sri Lankans very rarely actually see a true Indian. It's in your top four in India. Top four most enemies yeah. or top four for deaths. For deaths. Yeah. yeah, the only Chinese banded King Cobra in a private collection on this island. The thing is insane. It's still only a baby. So why is about six, seven foot now? Seven. About seven foot? Still has a good bit to grow. Insane. So it's, don't fuck with this boy, lads. Big boy snake. Two foot, three foot to go. That's mad. I love all the kind of places you can hide. That's it. The cobra. The false water cobra. She believes in this. She's Rare a fan. She's a lot of snake. She's, she's, oh, she's chunky, man, isn't she? You know she's about to drop eggs soon. Yeah. I don't want to annoy her too much. Yeah, she came out on her own, we didn't take her out. Yeah, she wanted to come out. If she wants to go back in, she can. She's not forced to do anything. Don't be giving out your ninja bags. She's gorgeous. So like when you're keeping hots, this folder here has everything in it. So all bite protocols for the doctors. You know what you want to say? Yeah, um, so if I got bit, there's no real anti-venom supply here or bar in Northern Ireland. There might be a little bit in Belfast and I think there might be one other place that would supply a starter kit. That'll keep you alive until they can get stuff in from the United Kingdom. So in the meantime, this tells everyone what species this is, how toxic it is, what the symptoms are, what I should be experiencing if I've been envenomated. Um, you go on medical management, so pre-hospitable is what I should do and what anyone who's in the house with me should do because you should always handle venomous when there's somebody else in the house or in the room with you, just in case anything happened. So then it goes into hospitable treatment. I think it was there, yeah. Here, yeah. tells them what blood tests are on, what proteins they should be checking for, how much should be in my system, how much shouldn't be in my system, and how to know how bad the envenomation is. Um, and then it tells them what to be administering to me, like insulin, all this sort of stuff, and then antivenom, what type of antivenom, where to get it. Everywhere basically in the world that has it, I think it's on this one. Yeah, I can't find where it is. It's at the back, but I think. Uh, basically, it'll tell you phone numbers, emails, everything of every hospital that has antivenom uh, <laughs> and where to get it from, how to contact them. That's my, and you have that then for every species you keep? Every species I keep, and every species I think I might keep. Well, well, well planned out, lads. Uh, so if you're going to keep a venomous, that's the only way you should do it. That's my handy go-to for 
for stuff I actually have here. And then this is everything I can photocopy or keep of anything that I might get. So if I got bit, it's not really this book I'm going to, it's more so I'm just grabbing these. Because they're already pre-made up for the species. Go. They're not bulky, we're not flicking through pages trying to find shit, it's just grab and go. Class. Well done.